Yeah, thank Mr. you. Uh, piggyback on what Kyle was saying, but uh, and and I didn't know that Kyle had reached out to anybody. But um, Chief, is there any reason that any kind of critical incident stress debriefing wasn't offered by the department uh, for the guys who were at either one of those calls that day? Because I mean, this is very important, and uh, you know, PTSD is a a big issue that's been identified with our uh, frontline workers. And uh, this day and age, I don't know why we wouldn't immediately have a have a critical incident stress debriefing after an incident of this magnitude or why we would wait for another agency to reach out to us so uh that chief psychology speaking so that evening there was uh talk we did uh, talk to the officers uh we we explained different things about eap to them we offered it to them we told them to let let us know if they if, if they had concerns uh, so I, I believe all that was done, and uh, Deputy Chief Rinaldi oversees all that, and uh, we had those discussions with the officers. And secondly, uh, it was optional for them to go, I think, to that debriefing. We did not make it mandatory. We kind of left it up to the officers, and if they felt it was necessary, then they, they were able to attend. That's how I was, uh, uh, as I took it, and, uh, you know, again, Deputy Chief Rinaldi arranged that, and so, so I, I thought all of that was covered. So. Um, Again, uh, it wasn't mandatory that they went, but it was optional, and uh, we had talk with them at at, uh, at different times.